doesn't want us to worship angels. As he mm, dispatched this fresh anointing. But he does want you to expect increase. Is anybody in the house expecting? Open your Bibles to Matthew 10, verse 40. Amen. Today is a day of receiving. Yes, Matthew 10, 40. He wants you to turn up the expectancy. There may be times when you will be entertaining angels unaware. Take not lightly no one because God is supernaturally setting you up for his blessings. For his blessings. With, with this in mind, Matthew 10 40. It says, He who receives you, all right, put your name there. He who receives, put your name. Pastor Lee, or whatever your name is. Come on, I didn't hear anything. He who receives, Amen. And if you notice it's in red, mm. you see it's in red. And what is that? And welcome. That means Jesus is talking. Yeah. Mm. So Jesus is saying, He who receives you receives me. There's gifts, there's talk, callings in your life and talents. And God wants you to get out of the boat from being familiar and being comfortable. He wants you to start walking on water with him. So with that in mind, it doesn't matter. Like Pastor said this morning, if they receive you or not, what you need to do show up because he show up because the same spirit that shook destroyed bust open the gates of hell raise our Lord and Savior Jesus from the dead dwell in our mortal bodies we are not just mere men and women but we are supernatural beings. Remember, he that receiveth you receiveth him. Praise the Lord. And the scripture goes on, and he who receives Jesus, which is saying me in your Bibles, receive him who sent me. So what, so what you see there, if you're receiving the servants of God, the people of God, you're receiving Jesus, and not only Jesus, but you're receiving him who sent him, which is Father God. So the Spirit of God is saying to us today, no more taking each other lightly. No more walking on one another. No more talking down to one another. Jesus Christ died on the cross just for us and shed his blood. Amen? Tell somebody, I am somebody. I'm the child or the daughter of the Most High God. Amen. 41 says, And he who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet rewards. 
Well, Pastor, I'm not a prophet, but I'm a teacher. Or I'm a maid. Or I'm the one that sweeps the floors. Or I'm the one that cross cracks. Crack, uh, Cuts the grass. Whatever your gift may be. Fill in the blank. Because as they receive you and your gift, they receive him who sent. When we stand in heaven, God Almighty, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Your gift, your calling that there is no repentance of. You're standing in the front of the throne of God. You've been faithful. Cleaning the bathrooms. For Jesus. Same person. On this end. Been faithful. Traveling in the around the world, preaching the gospel, doing his calling. Those two stand before God. They get the same reward. Nobody's better than nobody else. We're just all better than what we used to be. We're one in Him. Hallelujah. We're a body. And he's looking for those without a spot or a wrinkle. So get the wrinkles out. Tell somebody, get the wrinkles out. Get the wrinkles out. Get the wrinkles out. Those wrinkles of unbelief. Those, those wrinkles of disobedience. Those wrinkles Today. I don't want to say hallelujah. Thank you, 